Go! Dan, yo! Stop it! Yo! I think we have some really big news. Timely news, too. We can't, we can't talk about this here, though. We can't talk about this here. We what are we talking about? In the distillery. We have to go to the distillery. We're going to the distillery. Time's of the essence, Daniel. We're running out of time. You can't keep up with me. I have the machine, Daniel. Need a ride? No, I'm good. Jake, what do you think? Yeah? Are yeah. you doing piggyback? Here, Jake, you hold this for us. Right. Oh, I like where this is going. No, this is going really good. That's where it's going. No, it's going super good. Uh-huh. Now You're the way facing the wrong way. No, no, it's fine. You sit here. We got this. But then my head's right in your ass. Don't worry about it. That's a feature. No, not that way. You're being very dangerous. No, nope, this is- We can't go, we're running out of time. Totally good. We're running ah. out of time. <laughs> Let's do this. Ah. <laughs> Should've worn a helmet. Oh, shit. No. Go, Dan, yo, no. stop it. <laughs> we're doing it. I'm just covering your ass in my ass. Link. No, I'm trying. Link. I'm trying. Link. Quit <laughs> slamming on the brakes. Oh shit! We got it! I'm gonna fall! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is not the best view. <laughs> no, this is a beautiful view. No. Take it in. Take in the view. I'm like, you're ready to start. Are we gonna jump it? And... <laughs> Worst <laughs> airbag ever. <laughs> okay. First thing. The Whiskey Quest. So we're designing the very first malt whiskey that we make at the distillery. Malt whiskey. Malt whiskey. And the vote has been happening for several days now. Yes, you still have a shot at it, we're but closing. it's leaning pretty heavily. We're closing it on Monday. Monday, yeah. Monday. So Go check the Patreon, it's in one of the recent posts. Yes. Uh, the other thing is we actually have a new Timmy God. We do have a new demigod. The nameless one. The word, the rumor is that he is with us for a season. Oh. Thank you very much, nameless one. Okay, and while we're here, let's do just a quick rundown. What do we got? Yeah, right now we're starting with some really small stills. We have one 26 gallon still, and by we end, we have uh, three baby stills. Okay. Um, so these are for the three baby stills. They're basically countertop size, mm -hmm. we can keep them up at a higher level. Sure. Um, these are for water inlets for the cooling. Okay, so this is like the filtration system yep. here? And then this is a water inlet. Okay. And then this thing on the floor is gonna be mounted for the output, and it'll return and go back into the rainwater tank. So there is zero waste of water. Oh nice. So we're cycling cold water in, it heats up, cycles back out. This is for the cooling for the um, column. Okay. And then this is where we're gonna put the bigger still, we get more room in here, move these barrels out of the way. This would be the inlet and outlet. Oh yeah, it goes all the way up there. Yep. Awesome. Hey Rex. I'm very excited, Daniel. <laughs> you seem very excited, Rex. Super excited. Is that a challenge coin in your pocket? <laughs> okay, today's a very big day. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, we are going to sample the first 12 barrels we brought in from MGP. You can see them back here. There you go. How can the exact same whiskey, yep. same mash bill, same everything, turn into whiskeys that you can often get some differences in. This is what I hear. Yep. We're gonna test it out and see if it, it's the case with the MGP. MGP, this what's is a mash, mash bill of 75 corn, 21 rye, and four malted barley. All right, what's the first step? What are we doing? Uh, first thing we're gonna do is open the barrels, uh, take samples, put them in Glen Cairns, and cap them. Deb will start doing proof testing on each of them. Let's do things. Um, And we're gonna get into this. 12, Twelve. the last one, all right. Yes. Deb and Emma and Hale are already marking the proof using, what do we have, Deb? What kind of fancy thing is this? It's an Anton Pear uh, proofing tool. Now, these are the replacement bungs that are going in the bung holes. Silicone is just easier to take in and out regularly without destroying it. Can we taste it yet? Yes, we can taste it. Okay, we're gonna taste it now. Very scientifically. Very. Because we're legitimate businessmen. <laughs> 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 
they found that way funnier than they should have. Each one's labeled which barrel it came from and what the current proof is. Oh, all right, what is that, 50? 56.78. As long as you're within a decimal point, TTV doesn't care. Everywhere from 56, yeah, I think so. 57, 56, 56. So these are pretty much in the 56 range. Mm -hmm. And then there's just that one. 57. How does the process go of comparing? Well, all we're gonna do is try each one and take notes on each one. There's a very real chance that they won't differ enough to make the notes dramatically different. Oh, and that's a dunk glass of all 12 of them poured together. Ooh. What? It smells amazing. Right there. I'll hold on to that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, and I've got mine over here. I'm gonna start with E12 and work my way back. You guys pick it random, just keep track of which one. These are, whoa! These are different. They're different. These are even in the first three. Mm-hmm. These are noticeably different. I just get cinnamon toffee and brown sugar on twelve. I get a little bit of that eucalyptus note on eleven. Like. I get the same thing on all of these, but then I also get the variant. So I'm gonna make two columns: one for the variant. E12 tastes hot. E10 to me tastes hot. <laughs> whoa! Right. Well, you just Right? Three and E2 are so different. Yes. Yeah. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> no, E1 and E2 Insane. are very, very different. Mm -hmm. I think 10 just needs to be left alone to think about what it's done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maple. Yeah, E10 is just a, a lot less complex. It's just sharp, punchy, and yep. sharp. And we kind own a whole is. barrel of it. Yeah, we'll be doing. Yeah, but we'll let that sit and age and get older and older. Maybe that's our cocktail barrel. <laughs> E7, I'm not getting anything I wasn't getting from E12. I think E6 and E3 are basically the same. I'm, I'm getting um, green tea on a lot of these. Yeah. Oh. E4 and 5. You're not joking about E10. They taste like they're young or yeah. slightly not savvy. Not ready, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> How it is does. it a higher it proof? E2 is no, so no. damn magical. It's uh, magical. Uh, you son of a bitch. There, there's no question we're only gonna just bottle E2 and yeah. leave it alone. Yeah, it's this one right here it's just just happens to be the highest proof one. And it's beautiful. Yeah. It's got butter. The 12 whiskeys that we have right now that are supposedly the exact same whiskey supposedly. from these barrels. Many of them are extremely similar, and it is hard to tell the difference. A few of them, how can the exact same whiskey going into a barrel be a noticeably, obviously different whiskey coming out of the barrel? So there's a lot of things that can happen. Keep in mind the thing that all chefs know, which is when you have a lot of ingredients, changes in the ingredients don't affect that much. If you have 30 things in a dish that's called casserole, it doesn't matter if you get green beans from the can. Right, but if all you have in your mix is two or three things, then slight variations in those two or three things make huge differences in the outcome, right? So, uh, the staves that were used, were they all aged together? Were they yard aged? Were they heat aged? Were they mixed so that each barrel has a different kinds of staves together? Uh, once you've got it in there, the char level, was it as accurate as you thought? And in big cooperages, that's almost always true. Um, when you get it into the warehouse, did it sit on the third floor or the fifth floor? Was there a, a wider temperature variation? All of those things can have dramatic effects on the whiskey. It's good bourbon. I totally agree with you on that. MGP did a good Nine. job on this round. What, which, which ones did you think were the same? Nine and 12? That's the ones I put down. Bam! These two could be blended together for the same product. Six is punchier. Three, it's yeah, got yeah, more, yeah, it's yeah, got it more pepper. But they're the same flavor characteristics. One just feels hotter. Yes. You need to try that. Oh, I like the back of one, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that is good. Isn't that good? Yeah, super okay. good. And it's different than E2. You get a little bit more of like a, like a caramel buttery note on the end there. Yes. Okay, now... I agree. We all try what happens when you blend all 12 of these together. <laughs> because that is an option. Here's the thing. 
That is an option. Instead, well, every, everything but two. Two is magic. Okay. Two is not on But let's just say two is off the table. Let's just say the options were that the four of us choose four different releases, and you can try all four, mm -hmm. or that we blend all twelve of these barrels into one cool first release from the distillery ever. Except two. Except. <laughs> <laughs> Set two. And here's where we find out. We can name the whiskey number two. Number two. <laughs> Three and six. six. I I That's a oh, perfectly I stole this one, so fine, one, so nice sorry. whiskey when they're all blended together. Boy. I think it's better that we do individual releases. Until we get on the shelf. Like, we don't have the pressure. And until until we're we don't need to worry about consistency until we're into retail. Right. Legitimate businessmen with the business ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's do. Everybody oh. pick your favorite. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm oh. torn between tobacco, which was E11, right? Yes. Yeah. But the blend of E3 and E6 was my second choice. Oh, damn. Oh, one down. Oh, come on now. Oh. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh! Ah, Deb got Deb it. it. <laughs> Let it be known what did you that guys Deb won fair and square, mm -hmm. but she's a champ, and she gave me EA. Whoa. Uh, in, 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 in exchange kind of for the blend. blend. Oh, good oh. These whiskeys, are they going to be available at the launch party on August 25th? Four of them will be. Four of them will be available at the launch party on August 25th. Yeah, the ones that we chose. Okay. And my uh, barrel is going to be $500 a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And heart. if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.